What's up YouTube? It's Malaysia Mariana. Welcome back to my channel yet again for another video. Ladies, in today's video, we are going to be talking about a wifey material, how to be that girl, Proverbs 31 Woman Edition. I am going to be doing a series on my YouTube channel. I am extremely excited about this series. It hits home for me for sure, specifically because this is somewhat of the journey that I am on right now. I feel like I want to lace you guys up on the tea and the knowledge of everything that I've learned on how to become that girl for me, which is a Proverbs 31 woman. This that girl trend has been trending for a long time now and every girl has a different view or perspective on how to be that girl, right? How to be that girl. Let's get into it. A Proverbs 31 woman, she is a boss, period, okay? She is focused on her purpose. She don't need a man, okay? The only thing anyone should ever need in this life is God. The Proverbs 31 woman pursues God's wisdom instead of pursuing the world's wisdom. To me, being that girl means being a Proverbs 31 woman. Her worth is far more than jewels. Her husband or her man puts his confidence in her, keeps herself busy. Or notes, really, from scriptures that I jotted down, right? Kind of the basis of what a Proverbs 31 woman is. For her worth to be far more than jewels, that talks about her soul. For her to keep herself busy and her man putting his confidence in her, that just shows that she's hardworking and goes at it. She's a go-getter. She is a boss. That girl. I just want to touch on a couple things before I talk about the series more. And this is episode one. So welcome to episode one of this How to Be That Girl Proverbs 31 series. Let's chit chat for a minute. And I really want you to keep an open mind because I am explaining my ideal, my ideals and my wisdom, my thought process for everything about finding the one, right? Finding your heaven sent man, finding your match made in heaven, right? Even though we said she's the boss, she don't need a man. I do just want to touch on a few things related to that. My journey will not be about me on a hunt or, you know, application, anything like that because I am in a relationship already. Women today in my generation are looking for a man to take care of them, right? Because women think like, oh, I deserve for a man to just take care of me, like, I want a rich man to take care of me so I don't have to do anything. As I say, like, men should be providers. There are a ton of scriptures that go into more depth on men providing. But I feel like women nowadays are blind to the idea of why we were put on this earth. Like, we want to talk about men so much, so often, about they should be providing. Oh, I want somebody to take care of me. Like. Oh, I don't want to have to do nothing like I just don't think that that's a good mindset for us to have especially if you're seeking God you will learn that God created women to be helpers right to the man having that mindset of I'm gonna give me a rich man I'm not gonna buy me everything I don't have to do nothing girl he gonna pay for my flights he gonna pay for my new bags my Chanel like all of obviously what the hip hop music talks about today, right? Like being that bad B. We're not on that vibe, okay? She's a boss, that's what we're looking for. A Proverbs 31 woman, a woman that seeks God and could care less about what the world's got going on kind of thing. So that's where we are, stay with me, okay? I'm going somewhere with this. When God created Adam, he gave Adam a long list of things to do. Then when God created Eve, he didn't create her so that Adam can have more things to take care of on that long list of things he's already taken care of. He created her to be a helper to Adam. You know who God is and you have a relationship with him. Girl, get into your Proverbs 31 scriptures, <laughs> okay? There's there's some worth there for sure. I wrote down a scripture. 
It says, it is not good for the man to be alone. That we know. I will create a helper suitable for him. So this is Genesis 2.18. So ladies, I just wanna say, this is just a side note, okay, to you, like, if you're single, you know, and you're like looking for the next best thing, or not even looking, maybe just taking applications, right? Because girls, we don't be on the hunt. Like, that's not, that's not what we do. We took you for that anyway, so. <laughs> Let's say you take applications, right, and you're single. I just have to say, stop looking for a man that's going to just take care of you and provide for you. Those are great things, right? Or a rich man that's just gonna like take care of everything for you. So you're like, oh, I don't wanna have to pay bills. That can be arranged between you and your God-fearing men that you find. I just don't want like our mindset nowadays to be like, oh, I need to find me a rich man. Oh, give me a sugar daddy. Like, no, that really shouldn't be your mindset. Cause we're all about being independent, right? We're all about being a boss. We're all about not needing men, correct? So if you're gonna be like, oh, I'm independent. I can take care of myself. I have that mentality. But then you're looking for somebody to take care of you and, and be rich and pay for everything for you. Like what happened to that? independent side of you just kicked it out the window this is my last sign up for this whole like man topic thing if you think you're gonna find your match made in heaven with that mindset the man that you find i'm sorry to tell you this but he will not be heaven sent okay if you're like oh i need a rich man oh i need a man that's gonna provide for me like having that kind of mindset that man that you find is not gonna be heaven sent i promise you that you learn now or you learn later that's my Disclaimer, obviously, because for the title, title I obviously put like wifey material. I obviously, I want to be a wife. I want to have family. I want to have kids. Yeah, and I feel like being a Proverbs 31 woman, being that girl, this is the journey that I'm on. So I wanted to create a series and share that with you guys. So uh, let's get into it some more, shall we? <laughs> so Proverbs 31 woman, she is a hard worker. Period. Okay, in the discussion, she works hard goes get that money whatever she want to buy she buys it for herself okay she's not looking for nobody else to buy nothing for her let's stick with that independence right but in the midst of doing that we're seeking Jesus we're um, in search for a better relationship with God we are in search for his wisdom and the path that he wants us to be on and us following through with our calling and you know really understanding and learning learning why you were put on this earth right so like be doing that that little honey you want from from heaven, he will come to you. Okay, <laughs> I promise you that you don't have to you don't have to do nothing, girl. He will God will literally like here. He will give him to you, just like that. She is strong. She's generous. She doesn't worry. Right? Let's not be concerned because God's gonna take care of everything for us as long as we continue to seek Him and continue to have a relationship and continue to follow His laws. Do your part, He'll do His part. Kind of thing, right? She's respected and she speaks with gentle wisdom. So all that like coming off like hardcore and um, masculine energy, like I know a little bit about that. Sometimes women are just naturally have to be in their masculine energy, which if you got to, you got to, but if you have the opportunity to be more in your feminine energy, I definitely advise you embrace that some more. It's hard, I know for a fact, like it is hard getting out of that like masculine energy mindset especially when you're taking care of everything for yourself and you're being independent and you're working hard and you're making that money like this is that and a third like it's hard to pull yourself out of that masculine energy like you could be mean like sometimes you know like this is me like trying to embrace my feminine energy and this series is going to be fun you guys i'm really excited i just want to do a sit down video and talk to you so that um, i just be like an explanation of like where, where am I going with this? Like, I don't wanna just boom, put out the title and me doing what I'm gonna be doing and y'all be like, okay, wish, what's going on? Like, so that's why I wanted to film this. I think it's important. Uh, it's part of my journey and I'm excited. So let's get into it some more. Other scriptures were saying that her husband praises her. Many women are good wives, but you will be the best of them all. The woman who honors the Lord shall be praised. So you want to be praised in life by your man or 
by any relationship, honor God. He will surround you with those kind of people, you know? Like, do your part, he'll do his. That's, that's like the main thing that we're trying to get at here. Like, you want to be praised, you want to be provided for, you want to be taken care of. Honor the Lord, and he will give you that, like, match made in heaven man, right? Ooh. <laughs> but we're going to be a boss. We're going to stick to being a boss. It's like, there's obviously a waiting period. And so, girl, whether you are in that relationship already and like still figuring it out or you're married already and you're wanting to know like how to upkeep being a Proverbs 31 woman in your marriage. I know I think this video could be for this series in general it could be for like all different kinds of women. For this series I uh, will be creating videos surrounded by me reinventing myself and when I say that I obviously mean like how to be that girl, right? How to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Like, let's get into it, okay? With everything that I spoke about, right? Those are all like characteristic attributes. Something that I feel like I already am, I already have, or, you know, so I've been told already by my match made in heaven man. Um, yes, he was given to me a blessing for sure. Um, no way. In any way am I perfect whatsoever um, this is like this is why I'm creating this video in this series for me to be like reinventing myself just kind of showing you guys like what I've been on recently you know because my whole life's changed like I'm in a whole new world over here okay my routines are different everything that I'm getting into is just honestly everything I've ever dreamed to be doing and having so I'm so blessed and thankful so I want to just take a second to thank God for everything that I have and everything that I am Mainly these videos will be surrounded by three main topics, right? So all the importance to me for like for women obviously is health, right? So I'll be filming like my fitness videos and cooking some of my favorite meals. Maybe like an understanding your body video. My body has been changing and not like like physical shape. I'm not saying that, like I'm saying like like internally like what I put in my body now is like super important because it's telling me like what it likes and what it doesn't like like maybe a healthy meal alternative video or cooking new meals or like creating cocktails that's a fun one for me like yeah because later down the line I want to just be able to like whip up some really cute cocktails if there's like a gathering or something like that so that like wipey material type like that to be that girl but the grown woman version the grown woman version okay <laughs> and so as far as fitness like i've been like getting back into working out my body's always kind of just been like where i wanted to be i don't really ever have any complaints but if i'm wanting to improve on something i hit the gym yeah so that's just as far as health goes like health food fitness that's one of the main top categories the second category is obviously beauty right I love to do my makeup, I love to dress up, I love accessories, I love jewelry, I love fashion, I love to do all of that and so that will obviously be incorporated into this series. I don't have to touch on that anymore because we kind of already know beauty like things like especially skincare like I'm on a whole new skincare journey and I have some products that I think are really gonna be bangers for you guys like gems like like you're gonna want these products in your skincare routine. We'll tap into beauty, okay, for this series. That is category number two, femininity. Like I might be doing a video on like how to be more feminine, right? To embrace um, your feminine side versus knowing you have to live in your masculine side, but how to make your life more feminine, you know? I might film something like that. Main topic, number three, is my Christian girl lifestyle, which I like to call it my creative Christian girl lifestyle because like, I'm a person of the arts. I love to paint, I love to draw, I love to dance, I love to create, um, whether it's content or like anything. I'm that kind of girl, you take nothing and you turn it into something. Okay, that's, that's me. This lifestyle obviously involves like a ton of different things. How I spend time with God. Prayer journaling, I've been doing that as well. Eventually I'll tap into the calling that I've been gifted with. Can't tap into it just yet because it's not my time yet. I'm waiting <laughs> and we're always going to be waiting. So patience, grace, peace, God will give you that. So that's what I'm going to be holding on to right now. 
while I wait. I just, I'm so excited and you know, this, this coffee's probably like really making me like even more excited, but yeah, I'm really excited to tap into that. So those are the three main topics. I've already been in the process of reinventing myself. And so this will kind of just be me like filming it and showing you guys where I'm at because I'm trying to learn that there's so many other women, um, ladies, girls that are like kind of on the same journey as me. And you know, you're always film like, like whatever you're going through, there's no possible way like anybody could be going through the same thing. And not saying going through like as a bad or even just your journey, right? Like it would just really be exciting to connect and you know, to like show what I'm getting into. But definitely stay tuned for this series. If you'd like to see me become wifey material, how to be that girl. Proverbs 31 woman and there's so many different like names I could like title this series so I just kind of like threw them all in there at once so you guys can kind of catch like the vibe like my idea of where I'm going with this part of me just like doesn't want to turn the camera off because I'm like looking real cute right now <laughs> I'm like that's another thing like I want to be authentic on here I want to be genuine. If I'm going to share my life, I'm going to share it the real way. This is the journey that I'm on and all the, the videos that I will be curating will be surrounded by this topic. I'm going to keep it real. Period. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time in our series. Thank you for tuning in to episode one. I will see you next week. Peace out.